Hello, Guildmaster here. Welcome back to another episode of our modded survival. Last time we moved everything here to create the ultimate system. But now we have to move uh, all this stuff too. And I got a plan for that. So everything but the induction smelter is needed. Uh, it is very useful, but not for automation now. Maybe in the near future. This side is all taken up by Tinker's construct, but that is okay. So. These are charging up. Each one getting 200,000. Nice. So here is the plan. So, we get ore. What is the first thing we do? Well, we pulverize. So, one block away, we're gonna have a pulverizer. And the configuration is all cleaned up. That is good. Where's the energetic charges? These two things I will need separately. This is not part of the automation, so redstone furnace is next. And I also need one more thing. A new item. That is the... Do, do, do. Is it here? Where is it? I'm blind, man. Let's restart. I need the auto crafter. So, mixes hot, freezes, crafts items. Sequential Fabricator. They got some weird names. So, only needs tin, copper, and this, so that is easy to craft. Well, my plan is to have five pulverizers, so one, two. And also, in doing so, I also need to do this take out this whole row. Because. I'm gonna have be running wiring under all of them to charge them. So it's just easier if I do this. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna have five pulverizers. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need a space and then this. So I gotta do this. And the furnace. So we got the one, two, three, four, five space. And basically, I'm going to throw items into a chest, they're going to pulverize, and then they're going to be smelted. And then they're going to be auto-crafted into blocks for storage. So, we got these charging. I want to uh, actually output the leadstone to these. Uh, so, the best way is to go under and over like that, so... We just do this if we put the outputs on the front of these guys do something like this do something like this but remove that remove that and do this and run as much wiring and I actually have enough to reach the furnace that's actually amazing And then block this off, and you can see some of the wiring, of course, but who cares? So now these are all getting charged, right? 20,000, 20,000, good. So, what we're going to need is input on the back. And output on the top. That seems good, so it's going to... Input from the item ducts. I'm gonna put like a chest here Or even like here And then I just throw them in the chest and they're all gonna go into all the pulverizers and everything's gonna work automatically for it now From there it's gonna go up and then down into the furnace and Then it can uh, exit out the furnace so we can put the input on the top just like that and the outputs on the back and they'll go out this way and then into the auto auto crafters like that so i need item ducts and more leadstone flux duct i need one two three four five six seven eight nine right because i'm going to do two three four five space one two three four here why not let's see that Of course I'm going to need more pulverizers than that. Anyways, for these though, 
for now I feel like I can put them just right here even just like yeah just here even and run piping under it as well because this side is not going to be used for anything induction smelter this already has some charge on it but it's not this is still rising but I don't think it's it's not outputting to the right of that so we're good on that now if I throw away my useless rotten flesh now I have nothing to pulverize of course she don't have stuff to smelt I feel like I want to craft at least one auto crafter and also not a servo but a filter so this is a filter let's see what I need one glass two nuggets paper so what I need sugarcane this whole time two iron just need three iron for the nuggets one glass and is that it just need a one turned into nuggets and filter yeah I think I need a filter not yet though to be honest I don't need a filter now but it's good to have let's just throw it into here fluid ducts don't need those I need item ducts and flux ducts nine flux ducts I so I need craft this twice don't have this I need a more glass so because I moved everything my storage is here I have to go back and forth a lot a lot so I'm gonna need to do that might as well craft everything now let's just craft one sequential fabricator so I need eight copper Eight copper. I'll just, uh, I just I need to look at the picture to understand. Two redstone and gold. Gold. Two tin. This is uh, triggering me that I have nuggets. Paper definitely don't need that. I have so much paper I didn't even realize. Uh, machine frame for glass, so I can't even create it. Another tin gear. So I need to uh, move all of this like here. So let's get half of the sand and copper. And I need to make a furnace of both of these. I also need to, might as well like craft more furnaces because they are actually uh, useful. Let's just throw in sand and need flux ducts. Can't do anything with this yet. Let's just wait till it's crafted. At least four. Don't need all the sand actually. Four. Actually, I need more than four because I need the flux ducts. Needs two, so I need six. One. Come on. Six, that should be good, right? I uh, hope so. Also need to sleep again. Because nighttime it likes to come real fast for some reason. I feel like it does. Anyways. Now that we've done that. Let's see what else we need to make it. This. Uh, copper gears. Uh, machine frame, four iron, of course, of course, four iron and a crafting table as well, because that's what it is, it is a crafter, and uh, nice, there we go, and then blocks, throw this away, I do have glass there, 
Flux ducks. Four lead. Twelve redstone. Lead. I'm running out of lead. Only have 36 plus that. Close this like this. And flux ducks. There we go for that. Because uh, I only needed nine, but plus those two, I forgot about them. So that's good. And uh, might as well just, like, just lay them all already. Throw the fabricator here. So two, three, f two, three, four, five, space, this one. Definitely remove all that. It is getting charged up nicely. These ones also, as well, flux ducts. And I can have an output on the top, why not? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Output on the top as well. And I can uh, do all that, so that's all ready. This induction smelters require a way more uh, complex automation system. So this is all like that, it's gonna be outputted. And now I need lots of item ducks. I can't even count how many I need. I need one, two, I need five, ten, twenty, twenty-five. I need a lot. So I don't even know if I have any item ducks. Nope, just fluid ducks. Wonder what are the uses? I'm just making opaque ones. So item ducks. Uh flux ducks, flux ducks, fluid duck, fluid duck, item duck. Oh, that's why I never crafted item ducks. Because I needed hardened glass. And to do that, I remember it was very expensive for some reason. Hardened glass. I do not know why it's so expensive. To cr just for creating item ducks? Are they really that OP? Um, where is the hardened glass? Florbs or something I want to create too. Hardened glass. For some reason it's there. So, pyrothium dust. Two blaze powders. Redstone. And sulfur. Blaze powder, redstone dust, and sulfur. The sulfur. Let's see if that's good. Two pyrothium. Nice. And then I need four obsidian and two lead. Four obsidian, two lead, and hopefully, let's see what else pyrothium dust is used for. A resonant upgrade kit, like you can just smelt stuff in your crafting table. Make a, for some reason I don't know why you want to do that. So that's 120 items. Enchants books with XP. It's crazy powerful. Don't know a resonant upgrade kit, like pyrothium dust is expensive. I need those blazes. Anyways. Harding glass. And finally I was like, is vacuum item ducks really the Yeah, it's just like I don't all the item ducks are expensive. Or are they two tin and lead? Hmm. Never mind, they're not expensive. Two tin and lead? Oof. But item ducks. Why would that be worked like that? Two tin, one lead. Let's see what happens. Two tin, one lead. Wow. Transfers items. 
transfers items. Wait, this just makes item ducks too. Wait, I'm just making. Uh, I'm just gonna make opaque item ducks. What am? Their like crafting recipe things are messed up. I do not. I need way more. So a bunch more tin and lead. Oh, fort. Lead. Seems good enough for me. For now. And. Well, I don't need all of them now because I still need to craft all those furnaces and some more furnaces. And with that, I'm going to have outputs like this. I guess it just doesn't look like an interesting way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There's the space. One, two, three, four, five. And just like that. So I guess that's all I need for that. Uh, hardened glass I will use later for more important stuff like an upgrade kit. Like this is expensive. Why would I ever use this to create an item duct that's see-through? That's not important. So the pulverizer, let's just try it. Can I pulverize one ingot? Pulverize that ingot. Bop. Gonna make our way inside the furnace. Eventually. Where did it go? My ingot's gone forever. Oh, there it is. And wow, I actually get XP. So it does work. Uh, these are very slow item ducks. Vacuum item ducks. How do I create one that's a vacuum? Dense. Silver nugget or lead. I need three silver nuggets for every one. So I need to smelt everything. Uh, there's no point in uh, not keeping them all in that ore form because I can just smelt them. So I'm going to need four more redstone furnaces. Actually. So let's see if I can, uh, cr how many furnaces I can craft. That seems like a very important thing. Furnace. And I can upgrade them too because the upgrade kits I have not looked at at all. To invert to that, I don't need it. I don't use my backpack that much. So the hardened upgrade kit, invar. Okay, I feel like I can use that, and it would be nice to use on the energy cells actually to upgrade them so they hold them way more. They can hold like 20 million. Two million is a lot, but let's just go back to the furnaces. And with that, as you can see, full empty. It doesn't show me, but fine. Redstone furnace. Bricks. That's why. Brick, brick, brick. Smelting clay. I need four. Wait, come on. I need four. So I need eight bricks, which is four brick, eight, five, sixteen, thirty-two. How much clay I have? I have enough. Nice. So I need to craft all that. I need to f use a furnace. The only furnace I have to do that. Might as well. Wait. No, I just. I need like this. Throw all the clay in there. And that will work out. Might as well craft all the materials needed in the first place. Um, throw this all away. So every redstone furnace, I'm gonna need s uh, eight copper gears. Let's see how much I can create. Five, six, seven. That's all I can create. Um, redstone, uh, four gold and eight redstone just have barely enough gold. It's good, good. Just like that. And move that over here to 
to this little area of what I need. Then machine frames, 14 gears, and 16 iron. Barely have enough tin. That's all my tin. And glass. I'm going to need way more glass. How much I need? I need 16 glass. So move this to 15 and take that. Might as well smelt all the glass because I don't need glass for anything else. And that should be it. I'll go to sleep now. And it's been a good run. Next episode, I think we'll craft everything and see how well our automation system works. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See ya.